Right, hello folks, this is Kane. I'm doing a very quick tutorial because apparently some people don't know how to install 7 Days to Die modlets. It's very easy. First, go to your Steam like this, and you've got that there, 7 Days to Die. Right click it, select Properties. Go to Local Files, and Browse. That is your 7 Days to Die folder. Right click, New, Folder and you call it mods. That is important. Go into that folder. So as you can see there, games, Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days to die, mods. That's where you need to be. Now ignore the fact that OBS is here because I'm just doing a monitor capture. And I will now minimize that. I have downloaded some of my modelers to give an example. So this one here is 60 slot backpack. So you open it and there's a stupid long name. Click that. And there's that folder. Now what you want to do is when you get a zip file, check for a folder like this, click on it and look for that where it says modinfo.xml. So that's the right folder that you want. So you then click back that folder, you'd open your mods, drag it in. That's it. So you've got mods, the 60 slot backpack with food and water and that folder has the mod info. And then you rinse and repeat for everything else. So there's the backpack buttons. There's the hit point bars for people who like that. I'm also putting them in the wrong place. So they should be in mods like that. Um, hit point bars. Which ones? The other ones that I get as an example. Crafting cube into the mods folder. Three slot forge into the mods folder. But the AR, I got the wrong one then, so I'm like, oh, that's the wrong one. So you delete it, you go into that, copy across. See, good thing about screwing it up is I can show you how to fix it. So then I've got those three, and then load the game. You can load it with EAC, I just always load without, because most of the time I'm working on stuff that breaks EAC. So I'm going to just give this a minute or two to load. I'm just going to close out some of these while I wait. There we go. We can do a new game. And we'll call it that. It doesn't really matter what. We're just test testing to make sure it works. I'm also just checking to make sure I'm still recording, which I am. Amazing how adding a few modlets can add to how long it takes to load the game. We'll pop the console open if it wants to actually, you know, respond and just make sure there's no errors or anything, which there shouldn't be. Nope, looks good. There we are, we're now in game. Next out of all of that. Food and water bars are down there, so that's worked. There's the bigger backpacks, there's the three slot queue. If we do this and spawn a zombie. There's the hit point bar. There's also going to be echo because I haven't got my headphones plugged in, so sorry about that. I was just doing this fast because people were asking how to do it on the forums, and I honestly don't understand how this is hard to do. Oops. And there's your forge, and there's your three slot forge. So, yeah, it is literally that easy. That is how you install modelers. Hopefully that will help somebody.